What's up guys, Brad here. Welcome to another tutorial. Today we're talking about speed ramping in Final Cut Pro and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly what you need to know in order to create your own speed ramp. I've got Final Cut open and I've got the clip we're going to use for this tutorial on the timeline. This was shot using the new GoPro Hero 7 Black and it was shot at 240 frames a second. Let me play it back for you at normal speed. As you can see, the action happens pretty quickly. The first thing I'm going to do is to show the Retime Editor. Select the clip, hit Command R and that brings up your Retime Editor here, this green bar. You can see that we're currently at 100% normal speed. To achieve the speed ramping effect, you want to make a cut in the speed of the clip, not in the actual clip itself. So what you don't want to do is to hit Command B and cut the clip. I'm gonna undo that. What you'd rather do is to make a cut in the speed of the clip by hitting Shift B, and you'll see that'll make a cut in the green bar at the top here. I've made the first cut in the speed of my clip over here, which is where I want the action to slow down. And I kind of want it to be in slow motion up until about here, and then we can go back to normal speed. So I'll hit Shift B again, and then we're going to slow down this middle section. So essentially we'll go from normal speed into slow motion and then back to normal speed at the end. And it's as easy as clicking this drop down arrow. You can choose slow-mo. This was shot at 240 frames a second and I'm on a 24p timeline. So I can go all the way down to 10%. Let's just zoom out there and play that back. And there we've got a pretty smooth speed ramp, but there are a few things we can do to make it a little bit smoother. The first thing you should notice is that we've got these little gray bars over our speed editor. And what this is, is this is your handles. You can kind of ease in and out of the speed ramp by extending or shortening these handles. So if you pull these handles out, it'll be a longer transition from normal speed to slow-mo. Let me show you what that looks like. So that's one way to make your speed ramps even smoother. But sometimes you don't want it to take that long. You want it to kind of ramp from fast to slow or slow to fast, but you want it to happen fairly quickly. All you do is you come in and you drag these handles shorter. I personally like the smooth transitions, so I like to have these handles fairly long, like that. And then the other thing is, if you decide that your point at which you change the speed is not quite right and you need to shift it, all you need to do is you double click on the point, you hit edit on source frame, and then you can drag this around. So you can have more that's at normal speed. Let's say you did that. I'll show you what that looks like. And there you can see the speed ramp happens a little bit later. And by editing your source frame, you can change the point at which your speed ramp takes place. Let's say for a second, you feel like you've completely messed this up and you want to restart. Instead of having to try and set everything back to 100%, the easiest way is just to select the clip, hit Command Alt R, and that'll reset your clip back to 100%. As you can see, speed ramping is a really easy thing to do in Final Cut Pro, and it's a really cool effect you can use to spice up your videos. So if you enjoyed that tutorial, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you guys in the next video.